thrill-seeking sports fans of any age, Swatch has become the name to watch. Since the introduction of bright, colorful, unconventional fashion watches, Swatch Watch USA has been the champion of the unusual. Vital and creative individual designs reflect the fresh spirit of the company's product lifestyle. This lifestyle philosophy takes Swatch to a place beyond the curve, a time ahead of all others, and to a world of unusual sports. Like freestyle skiing. Long banned at ski resorts in the U.S. because of reckless hot doggers, freestyle skiing, a range of breathtaking ballet, mogul, and aerial maneuvers, was reorganized in 1979 by the International Ski Federation, the FIS, with new safety guidelines and its own World Cup Grand Prix series. The technical precision and visual thrill of freestyling caught Swatch's attention, and for three years, Swatch has been sponsoring the Swatch Freestyle World Cup at Breckenridge, Colorado, home of American freestyle. Swatch also sponsors three of the sport's brightest stars, Connie Kissling of Switzerland, Lloyd Langlois of Canada, and Hermann Reitberger of West Germany. It's not surprising that these talented athletes have become loyal fans and enthusiastic spokespersons for Swatch. They can attest to the enormous growth and appeal freestyle has gained since Swatch's involvement. Today, freestyle skiing is the hottest thing on snow. So hot and so skill intensive, in fact, that freestyle skiing has achieved demonstration sports status at the 1988 Winter Olympics in Calgary. In 1992, it will be an official Olympic event. These are two milestones in which Swatch takes great pride. They were there at the beginning, they always are. Freestyle skiing is just one of the world's emerging sports under the Swatch sports umbrella. The company has sought out other unconventional sports too. Sports that reflect the company's mystique of the wild, the offbeat, the unexpected. For example, Swatch is now involved in snowboarding, a sport that combines the skills of skiing, surfing and skateboarding. Bert Lamar, one of the country's leading snowboarders, is a Swatch-sponsored athlete who amazes spectators at the annual Swatch World Snowboarding Championships at Breckenridge, Colorado, an event that attracts some 250 competitors from around the world. Mountain biking, the ultimate off-road cycling, attracts fat-tire daredevils of all ages to its rugged challenge. For the past year, Swatch has sponsored Swiss-born Hansborg Ray and American Kevin Norton in the trials area, and John Tomac, the leading fat-tire racer. The Ross Swatch stage race, an uphill-downhill forest adventure, became the first fat tire race to be sponsored by a company outside of the immediate bike industry. Swatch also began sponsoring skateboarding when it was just a sport for the few and gutsy. Now these sports are enjoyed actively throughout the U.S. and the world. For the last two years, Swatch has sponsored the six-time freestyle champion Rodney Mullen, as well as several other street and ramp skaters. Rodney can be found in point-of-sale videos in Swatch shops and performing for thousands of kids in his retail events called Skate Sessions. Swatch's attitude towards sports sponsorships is as unconventional as the sports themselves. They dare to choose the fascinating and the risky, the sports that make you gasp. No corporate golf or tennis tournaments for them. When Swatch is committed to a sport, they back it fully, not just financially, but with aggressive publicity and promotional campaigns that guarantee the attention of individuals of any age.
cry of gold is a familiar one at Breckenridge, the Victorian mining town turned world-class ski resort, especially when the Swatch Freestyle World Cup comes to town. Freestyle skiing with its graceful ballet routines, dynamic mogul runs, and thrilling aerial maneuvers was born in the United States in the 1960s and early 70s. After a traumatic childhood, hot dogging was banned from the U.S. ski areas in the mid to late 1970s. The rest of the world wanted more, however, and the FIS, the International Federation of Skiing, took freestyle under its wing in 1977 and began to include ski acrobatique as another dimension of skiing equal in stature to the other well-known alpine and Nordic events. The rest of the world, but especially Europe, Japan and Australia, have taken to the uncompromising excitement of freestyle with an enthusiasm rarely shown for skiing. Not only have crowds in last year's events eclipsed the numbers previously seen in Europe's prestigious downhill races, but major non-ski sponsors like Swatch have given these events support and prestige no one would have imagined a mere five years ago. The Swatch Freestyle World Cup in Breckenridge will showcase the world's best freestylers in ballet, moguls, and inverted aerials. Each individual discipline is scored by a panel of five judges, each from a different country, with a sixth non-scoring judge in attendance to oversee all procedures. Ballet moves are choreographed to music and include jumps, spins, pole flips, and dance movements. If you love singles freestyle ice skating, you'll immediately take to this, its most exciting evolution. The skis are short, averaging 150 centimeters for a six-foot male with turned-up tails for easier backward skiing. Judging is based on choreography, technical difficulty, and overall performance. Of the five judges' scores, the highest and lowest are discarded. The three remaining scores are totaled and recorded. The mogul competition is conducted at a more furious pace and hence involves a more complicated scoring system. After the preliminary elimination round, 16 men and 8 women moved to the dual format finals at Breckenridge, where skiers thunder down side-by-side -side courses through huge Volkswagen-sized bumps. One judge selects a winner on aggressiveness and speed, and another on quality and quantity of air time. And yet another judge focuses on the overall technical performance. Two judges follow the skier's precision in the fall line, the fluidity and technical precision of turns made, looking not only for perfection of execution, but awarding more points for more turns. Numerical scores aren't used. Each of the five judges tabulates a winner and then simply displays a colored card, be it red or blue, corresponding to the course color of the competitor who exhibited superior skill in that judge's particular area of concern on that run. The competitor who wins the most colored cards wins the heat and ultimately the event. This year's mogul competition is scheduled for Mach 1, the world infamous mogul course characterized as the toughest in the world on the Swatch Grand Prix freestyle circuit. The long-awaited aerial competition will be held on a specially constructed jump site held next to and south of the ballet course. The judging of the aerials focuses on the skill and control the skiers use in executing their jumps. Each aerial maneuver has an assigned degree of difficulty. Judges award points based on air or height of the jump. That's 20% of the total score. Form and style is 50% and landing is 30%. The total of these scores is multiplied by the degree of difficulty to arrive at the final point score. At all times, the competitors are required to be in total control and are only allowed to attempt jumps that have been previously qualified in practice. Each competitor is allowed two jumps during the finals. The highest combined point score wins. Describing inverted upside-down aerial maneuvers with words is nearly impossible. The magazine and newspaper coverage will only whet your appetite. The TV specials will give you a taste of their fascination. But to fully appreciate aerials, you must see them in person. You will never forget the first time you see one of these incredibly gifted athletes throw a triple-twisting, triple backflip. It's awe-inspiring, and rumors throughout the freestyle world have it that several competitors will be performing quad twisting twisting triple backflips, all at the Swatch Freestyle World Cup this January, right before the Olympics. Another incredible sporting event from Swatch. One of the most visible and spectacular of the Swatch-sponsored athletes is 20-year-old world freestyle skateboard champion Rodney Mullen. Rodney has won over 100 competitions and is the current world champion in freestyle skateboarding. Rodney practices his routines nightly in his barn in Gainesville, Florida between 2 and 4 a.m. to the music of Mozart. Mullen is a straight-A student at the University of Florida. He got straight A's all through high school. Very atypical skateboard hero. Late night Mozart? Here are some of Rodney and his friends as they show you their best stuff from Swatch. 
I really don't think I want it. most interesting events on the Swatch sporting schedule this year was the Swatch Ross stage races in Wendell, Massachusetts. This event brought together some of the best mountain bikers and fat tire freestylists in the world to compete for over 15,000 in prize money. Jim Flecker of Mountain Bike Magazine describes the action. Uh, today's course is the toughest so far of the Ross race. It uh, is very wet, very slick. Uh, there's a lot of mulch, there's a lot of leaves on the ground, which is going to make for um, generally good traction, but then you have rocks and you have mud, and that makes for bad traction. So the riders are really going to have to be careful about putting their wheels in the right places, and I'd say there's a good chance for a lot of dabs today. Mm -hmm. And dabs, uh, well, explain the rules for people who don't know what a dab. Basically, in, in observed trials, you want to go through a section, which is a charted out course that could range from 10 feet to 100 feet long. The point is to go through without putting your feet down, very basically and simply. Can't put your feet down, can't put your hands down. You can stop, you can balance, but you cannot put your feet down. There's no time limit, there's no speed limit. It's just a matter of trying to get from the start to the finish without putting your feet down. So the object for the promoter is to put as many obstacles in the way as he can to try and stop these guys up. And we have two of the top three riders in the world here today. And we also have two of the top five in the country. And so we've got excellent competition here. It's probably the, the best gathering of talent that we've had here in the United States. 
Aside from Swiss-born Hansborg Ray, American Kevin Norton, and the leading fat tire racer John Tomac, Swatch also sponsors such famous skiers as Lloyd Langlois, World Cup freestyle aerial champion, and Connie Kisling, European women's combined champion, as well as Hermann Reitberger of West Germany, the world ballet skiing champion. The winner's sponsorships are not limited to skiing. Snowboarding, the latest craze to hit the slopes, is a very important sport as far as Swatch is concerned. Bert Lamar, the world champion in the halfpipe, a man-made snow pipe where the snowboarder executes incredible tricks, is a Swatch-sponsored athlete as well. Let's take a look at a montage of skiing and snowboarding from Swatch. Watch the one company you can depend on to bring you the latest in breathtaking radical sports.